much. Um, Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Ruto. Your Excellency, the First Lady, Mama Richo. Our past moderator, the Most Reverend Dr. Jesse Kamau. The House of Clergy. The family of my late brother, Mama Kevin, Stephen, and all the rest of our people and all the people who have come here. God is good. And all the time. Nisalimieni kwa hewa buwana yesu wa sifiwe? Buwana yetu wa sifiwe tena? Adwa ito mwri okuo? Ni mwo kire? Kumaga liya mwru wa maito? Kaya mwru adime? Your Excellency, the President, the man lying here with us Jack Ririani was the eldest among all the sons of the red mother Kirigo and Mzee Nahashon Gashagwa. He's a man that we all hold in the highest esteem as a family. Our parents, the late Mzee Nahashon Gashagwa Ririani and his wife, mother, popularly known as Marida, were peasant farmers and ex-freedom fighters. And when they came from the forest, unlike today, they did not know about insurance. What they did about education, they came up with an insurance scheme to make sure that their children go to school. And that insurance scheme by my parents and no other people of that time was a masterstroke. What those parents would do is get as many children, educate a few, and a few to educate the rest. <laughs> so my parents, we were nine of us, and they tried so hard. They educated Jack Ririani and Governor Derito Kashagua and told them to educate the rest of us. Myself, my sister Lillian, who is in London, my sister Mudoni, who is here, we were handed over to Jack by my parents. This man paid my school fees from Form 1 to Form 6. And uh, I'm so grateful to God because God gave me an opportunity to, say, to tell him, thank you for educating me. When they came for inauguration, Your Excellency, they stayed with me in Nairobi for three days, and I had an opportunity to thank him profoundly for having seen me through school on behalf of my parents who are lacking. And I feel that the opportunity I had to tell him thank you when he was alive, it's God who created for me that opportunity. I want to ask all of us, where we can, those who are able, take care of your siblings. See them through school, assist them in life. So as we escort my late brother, I have a debt of gratitude to him. And as a way of giving back, I'll make sure that his wife who has been left behind, his children, Stephen and your kids, whatever God can help me to see you through, I'll do it as a way of appreciation. My late brother was also the head of our family, the Kerigo family. We were four, now I'm left, and I'll do what I can in terms of providing leadership to our sisters and our children who have been left behind. And I ask our family to stay united. And we have accepted what has happened. We have taken a bit of hitting for the last 10 years or so as a family. But we are asking God no questions. Because all the difficult things have happened, God has equally given us so many other blessings. And therefore, we are not in a position to complain or ask any question. We have accepted the will of God. And all we have to do as a family is to stay united. And like our parents taught us, education, education, education. Let us educate our children. In a family of nine, we were, nine, we were seven graduates from parents who are peasants.
they just knew that education is important alafu wakapanga hiyo insurance unasomesha wawili alafu wanasukuma wale wengine i think it's a good concept i think some of us who are not very wise when wazungus came they told us to get only two children and we accepted looking back in my case i think it was foolish because when i sit in my house it's a big house my children are gone i'm just here with pastor dokas if you leave a glass here you come back after two months you just find it there is that is that a home really you are a boma so these are things that uh, we did in those days of the 70s so oh, family planning nini 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 tukasikiza hiyo maneno tukafuata bila kufikiria so we find ourselves in a situation that is not very nice you know um your excellency on behalf of my family let me thank you with mama rachel i really want to thank you you have been there for us any time we have been in tears in this family you always turn up with a handkerchief to wipe our tears we have no words to say thank you and the truth be said from our relationship you have become one of our family you have become one of our family we celebrate you we cherish you and we don't take that friendship for granted the last time you came for my mother you remember me telling you and i told you in front of everybody that this family of kashagwa we are honest people we are people of integrity and we value friendship and i told you if other kenyans will betray you that betrayal will not come from this family we don't know betrayal we are people who are true to friends and that is why i with my family made a conscious decision to stand with you in very difficult circumstances against all odds against all pressure against insurmountable challenges because we are an honorable family and i have told our children i had a meeting with them last night and i told them because they are young people integrity and being faithful to friends is an important ingredient in life and i have guided these young people i had a long meeting with them last night and i told them as long as they carry the gachagua family name they must remain true to friends they must be honest people and they must always stand with what they believe in your excellency in the family meeting last night when we were discussing you and the role you have played in this family of holding us holding our hand always be there with us i was given very clear and sufficient instructions by family that i must serve you with loyalty and dedication i was told by my family to give back to your support for this family for your true friendship in the duties you have given me to assist you in the management of the affairs of this great nation they told me to work very hard to make sure i ease your work and i assist you to succeed my family is the opinion and rightly so that electing president william ruto is not enough president william ruto must succeed and turn around this country so i want to confirm to you sir that whatever duties you give me i'll implement them with military precision i'll be there and i'll do whatever you tell me to do so that this country that is pregnant with expectation the people of this country your excellency have such high hope in your leadership they have so much expectation and i know that you must work very hard and for you to succeed those of us you have given a responsibility to help you we must work equally hard so i want to confirm before my family that i'll not let you down i will do whatever it takes and will be there for you to give you the necessary support 
so that you are in a position to turn around the economy of this country and restore the dignity of our people. And for that, I ask my family and my people of Herega to continue praying for me to succeed in helping this great man. Finally. And what are you doing? 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 tulikuwa tunawekelewa fitina ya kwamba sisi ni watu ambao tunajipenda sisi ni watu ambao ni wa kutumia wengine sisi ni watu ambao hatuwezi pigia mtu mwingine kura ambaye hatoki hapa lakini nyinyi watu wa mlima nyinyi ni watu ya maajabu nyinyi ni watu ya maajabu i really want to thank you from the bottom of my heart you you don't know what you have done to our community you have gotten us respect in Kenya for the next 200 years. <laughs> that the people of the mountain are honest people. They are people of integrity. They are true to their word. And they are people who appreciate a good deed. Your Excellency, the people of this region did not vote for you because you supported President Uhuru Kenyatta. They did not vote for you because of the 1010 fraud. No. They voted for you. They made a conscious decision that you have a plan. You have a program to turn around their lives and put money in their pockets. That is why they voted for you. <laughs> you are regressing. You have pronounced yourself very clearly that the way to go is to increase production in agriculture is to increase production in agriculture and the people of this area are farmers and they are coffee farmers they are tea farmers they are dairy farmers and the program that you have is what these people desired Mutako ni kiri yoro modo, moye deire, ne anyo, ne jaga, ne koru tavira, ne moko me gama hoya ine, ne moko me nitera na mahoya, ne moko me roga merira, eru tavira Kenya, ishe jia maisha maitu, moye na mane gwe kogo, gavi tu amura adime, na moye kewega. Na adwa ito muriega, na muria vata, na muria goro. Neguo, gai ito amuradime, na muikewega. Reverend Jesse Kamau, I want to thank you. When I said an invitation, you come and bury my brother and you accepted, I was humbled. I'm always amazed by your clarity of thought. You have given us a very moving sermon like you have always done. We are truly grateful. And you always dignify our PCA church. Let me thank the parish of Gorano and the Reverend Minor and Kegajo Presbytery. You are always supporting this family. We want to thank you. Mary Catholic Choir, I want to thank you. Gogoro, Gogoro PCA, you are the best. Victor's Chapel Praise and Worship, Bongezi. Karatina Praise and Worship. You are always there for us. And Herega Secondary, thank you for coming. I know I promised you a gate, a good one. Manezea Wamumbi will put up that gate for you. I've already told him. And when the president comes around to the Sagana State Lodge, I'll request him to come and take tea with you.